Hey there guys and welcome to another episode of the Sunday Shred. So yeah, welcome guys. I'll do a quick pan so as you can see where I am today, get a bit of a feel for where I'm sat. I'm sat up in the by the pool where the, where it's not been cleaned yet, but it's nice just to dunk your feet in. So I'm sat here doing the, my, my recording today. So let's have a quick look. Yeah, it's lovely here today. Um, I've just been for a walk with my dad and, and girlfriend. It's yeah, having a really nice time. So that's there's two things I want to talk about today. The first is what I've been up to for the last couple of weeks, um, and the second is this issue that I've had with my bike, which has got it in the workshop at the moment as it happens. So yeah, first thing is, so for two weeks I've not done any riding at all because the bike had a, had a, the brakes go, and I've got absolutely no confidence in the brakes now whatsoever, and it's taken me a long while to get the parts into the workshop and get it fixed up. I should have it at the beginning of the next week. Um, but what's coincided with that is that my dad's been visiting from Scotland in the UK. So we've just been going on loads of walks, going out for dinner, going out for lunch, you know, just having a, a, a great time. And so it's kind of tied in quite well with the bike being off the road because I've had someone visiting to keep my mind off it kind of thing. So, so yeah, since, since the last upload on Friday, that, that, that video was, was filmed. Uh, so today is Saturday the 6th. It was filmed two weeks ago this coming Monday, so that's the last time I actually rode. Um, so yeah, like I say, since then just been chilling out really, editing that one ride into a three-part. I was lucky really that that ride turned out to be such a such a good ride, good long ride, that I could make three videos out of with loads of descending. That 5,250 feet of descent, part one, two and three. Just a great ride, so I'm glad that that has managed to keep the upload schedule relatively consistent, but it's not been great. I've not been doing wheelies. Um, the vlogs haven't been so consistent um, and I've just not been taking as much time with it which uh, which won't be happening anymore now so this this was just we had just moved into the house um, dad came to visit it was just a good time to sort of take a bit of a break and just get settled in you know do a load of good stuff and sightseeing with my, with my old man so now from the coming coming week so from Monday I dropped the drop my dad off at the airport and he heads back to the UK and then thereafter sort of all of my efforts going into the YouTube channel and, and mountain biking and getting in good shape the whole thing so that's part that's the first thing that's what i've been up to the second thing is i wanted to talk about the bike because it's quite an interesting thing that went wrong because it's really really bad so my canyon strive 6.0 race 2016 came standard with a set of shram guide r brakes and i'd heard somewhere i think bkxc brian kennedy and actually while i'm at it new shirt which haven't take off, taken off since it arrived. Um, but yeah, Brian spoke about when he, that video where he wore all of his handlebar off when his bike kind of fell off the, um, the, the bike rack on the car. He had a SRAM Guide R, which is kind of the, the cheaper version of these really good SRAM guide brakes that you can get. Um, he had to have one of those put on his bike um, to go with his kind of, I can't remember what it is, the better one, SRAM Guide RC or something like that. Uh, the much better brake and he had no problems but I think he mentioned it then and I've read it somewhere else that these brakes these SRAM guide R's aren't very good in hot weather and big descents because you because they they overheat and I can't, I can't find where I read it now to have a look through it but basically that ride that you saw me do part one two and three of that 5,250 feet of descent um, I had done a lot of climbing up until that last video so my brakes had hardly been touched for probably an hour and a half and I got to the top and went down, did a load of descending, big on the brakes because I was tired as well. So I wasn't going too quick on that last video because I was knackered. So I was on the brakes a lot. And then I did, you've seen it in one of my other videos, I did the booby onto Pampanera descent. And right at the end of that descent, now I was thinking back to this, there would have been a bit of braking, but not massive amounts of braking. Um, although they had overheated because I could see the outside of my rear disc had kind of blackened where it, would, where it got really hot. But basically I got to the end of that descent and I was heavy on the brakes for a second, let go with both of them and then went to grab them both again and the rear brake I had absolutely nothing as if the hose had completely split and I just and I just squeezed and, and squeezed all of the brake fluid out and the front just bit before it reached the handlebar. Um, so yeah, so basically both of my brakes simultaneously just completely overheated and had I been coming in hot onto one of the big corners here, one of the big exposed corners here, it could have been an absolute catastrophe. Um, so I think it's just worth mentioning, it's not that I want to slate SRAM because I think SRAM's a great company and 
what also needs to be considered is the fact that I'm like a 16 and a half stone dude and I do get a bit of a hustle on when I'm going downhill so and I am not the best rider in the world in terms of perhaps um, modulating the brakes and stuff so so yeah the, the, I definitely need a beefier set of brakes but an enduro bike like the um, you know an all mountain enduro bike like the Canyon Strive should come with a set of brakes that that can put up with that kind of punishment because it's I've got like an alloy bike it's not an, it's not an ultra lightweight um, carbon fiber bike it's an all mountain bike so my, when I buy a mountain bike it needs to be robust it needs to be strong the wheels need to be strong I don't care if they're made of carbon fiber they just need not to bend or whatever and the same with the frame you know I will get a carbon fiber one when I when I want to spend that kind of money but for now you know a bike like this is perfect for me so to stick a set of kind of I can't remember if you call them the single piston or double piston. It's basically, when you look at it from side on, you can see the one piston. So there's a piston on either side with, with one single brake pad on either side. That's front and back. The the brakes that I'm going to re be replacing those with are the Madura MT5s, which I went up and saw them yesterday in the bike shop, and they're friggin' awesome. We ordered them in especially, and they're much beefier, like totally my cup of tea, like, you know, a real good set of brakes. So they shouldn't overheat quite so easily. So I thought that it was just worth mentioning that. Tram guide our brakes. The temperature during the day that I was riding was about 17, 18 degrees. It wasn't mega hot. I'd done a lot of descent, but also hadn't done a lot of descending immediately before um, the descent that I did. So I was probably descending for about half an hour um, on and off, and then the brakes went right at the end of it. And it was it was pretty gnarly. So it's just worth keeping in mind for you guys. I know that the Shram Guide R brakes aren't particularly well known for being awesome brakes. But do bear in mind that they can overheat. And that's about it really guys. There's not really a lot else to tell you. I'll be, like I say, from Monday onwards I'm really getting back into the, the swing of things then. But I am without a mountain bike until probably Tuesday. So I've been doing lots of research and I've got lots of new things that I want to try with the channel. But I am without a bike because they're waiting on one adapter for the rear disc. Because I'm getting it with a full set of um, 203mm um, rotors. So they're waiting for an adapter to come for the frame um so yeah from as soon as i get my bike back i'm back riding back doing wheelies uh, the vlog is going to be every sunday again now um so yeah apologies for this little gap while i've been having someone my dad visit and having the bike broken basically but we'll get straight back on it next week okay guys thanks a lot for watching i'll catch you next time